Tunakubariki Mungu wetu pokea sifa zote wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni mwenye nguvu wewe ni mwenye uwezo hakuna kama wewe Bwana hakuna wakufananishwa na wewe hakuna wakulinganishwa na wewe Bwana we worship in your to your God Oh wa miungu yote umetukuka bwana tunakutukuza we give you the glory worship you lord he mungu wa
Wewe ni wacha mungu shangazi maisha yesu Kiposa baba tume kucha kuinua mikono yetu na sauti zetu mbere zako Kisema wewe ni wacha mungu maisha ni mwetu Pokea sifa, pokea utukufu wote mwana Pokea heshi mazote, hakuna rie kama wewe Hakuna wakufaranishwa na wewe Wewe ni mumbati wa vyote mwana We give you all the worship, we give you all the glory Wewe ni buwana wa mabuwana, tunalitukuza na kulimu wa tunala We give you glory, we give you all the worship, oh God We adore you, King of Kings We bless, we exalt you, oh God Hakuna wakufana nishwa na wewe Pokea sifa mungu wezi Pokea heshi mazote, buwana Jiwa wale to receive all the worship, oh God You are one that's receive all the glory. We worship you, our God, and we adore you. Hakuna kama wewe mungu. Tuna kuwa mungu mwana. Tuna ritukuza jina lako mwana. We worship and we give you the glory. Ume inuri wachu sana mungu wetu. Mwana wa mwana. Ume inuri wachu. Umetenda matabu Moyo wangu watua Kinyo changu takili Umetenda matabu Hewe buwana
kama amekutendea mema nipungie ningeomba wale ambao tumeketi chini tuweze kusimama wale wamepiga magoti tuweze kusimama amen wale ambao wanatutazama wale ambao wanatusikiza tunawakaribisha katika ibada ya siku ya leo tunaenda kumtukuza bwana siku ya leo maana anastahili sifa zetu amen kama unaamini na mimi nipigie bwana yesu makofi ya juu
zuhuri ya leo tukamwelimishe katika madhabahu haya popote unaposikiza popote ambapo tunatazama tukamwelimishe bwana azuhuri ya leo tukamwambia wewe ni Mungu usiyebadilika wewe ni Mungu mabidifu kuliko mabio ya jua umetamalaki umetukuka tangio mabio ya jua azuhuri hii ya leo na hata macho ya jua lakini yake jioni siku ya leo jina lako linatukuzwa na kuenziwa ewe uliyeumba wala haukuumbwa wewe ndiye mtawala wa milele unayefanya mambo makuu ya maajabu yapitayo fahamu zetu tunakutukuza tunakushukuru kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuabudu kwa pamoja tumshangilie mwana kwa pamoja wote ambao tuko katika madhabahu tuko mabudu bwana na tokote uliko tukamshangilie bwana haleluya anastahili sifa zote ushukuku na shukrani na adhama zote ni zake kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Amen amen God bless you so much praise and worship team tuwashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii ya kuungana tena katika madhabahu haya naamini kwamba siku ya leo sio siku tu nyingine ya kawaida this is the day the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it isn't it ya kila siku ni siku ya kumshukuru Mungu kila siku ni siku ya kuwa na tumaini jipya ndani ya Kristo Yesu baada bibi anasema kwamba he make everything beautiful in his time Today may be your day. Just when you are about to give up. This... Hallelujah. Naamini kwamba kila siku you should wake up every day with a new hope. The Bible says so long as you are among the living there is hope. Karibu sana wote bwana tusamaka kwenye MBCI TV platform ya Apostle John Kebane William official page, uh, YouTube, wanaosikiza kwa radio, kwa simu, uh, na kwingine kokote ambako unaweza kutusikiza hata kwa radio na kwa pia kwa www.mbci radio uh, kwenye internet unaweza tupata from any nation uh, na mimi kwa adhu huyu leo tutabarikiwa kwa pamoja majina ya pastor Isaac nimekoka Yesu ni bwana na shukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii uh, na shukuru pia kwa nafasi ambayo tumekuwa nayo wiki jana na uh, very powerful week of prayers fasting uh, uh, na pia kuongoza unajua kuna ni jambo moja kuomba ombi ukiwa peke yako and something very different to be read in a corporate prayer and fasting corporate prayers and fasting is very powerful kwa sababu the bible says one can scatter 1000 two shall scatter 10000 now i imagine the many of us from across the group kwa sababu niona huwa naona tunafuata watu hata kutoka marekani na other continents wanafuatilia wanasema sisi ni church without walls i believe there are things that are happening we are dominating we are taking dominion tunachukua milima katika jina la Yesu Kristo because as we pray wengine tuko kwa soko wengine tuko kwa biashara wengine tuko katika maofisi za kiserikali as we push for the kingdom ninakuja na kusaidia kusukuma haleluya so we are better off today than we were last week we are better off this month than we were the month of april na kila siku kuna kujengeka we are building up into something mimi naamini karibuni mlipuko mkubwa utasikika revival ikizuka kwenye taifa tukienda kwenye mataifa mengine katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen we have a vision because that's the word we have a word of the lord as a nation that this nation is a nation that will bring revival to the nations of the world wow i'm so excited i know there is a build up whatever what preceded preceded any revival was a season of prayers and fasting ukifuata church history utaona hiyo one of the characteristics about it itangulia uvuvio ilikuwa tu ni watu wanasikanisa inasikia tu msukumo wa maombi msukumo wa maombi kwa hivyo hata wewe kama ulimaliza last week ukasikia wiki ipi unafaa kusukuma kwa maombi push that agenda and god will bless you asubuhi tulianza safari ambayo ningetaka Mungu atusaidie tuweze kutamatisha dhuhuri uh, ya leo uh, ya kuongea kuhusu awamu saba the seven stages of a vision nikasema kwamba vision is the driving force of your life. Nikasema kwamba ukiwa na vision you will have the grace the strength to wake up every morning. Kile kitafanya uweze kuamka kila asubuhi ni yale maono na ile ndoto iko mbele yako. Kile kitafanya usianguke. Kile kitafanya usicompromise ni kushika yale maono Mungu ameweka ndani yako. Ndio itakuwa ikikwambia kwamba haujafika mahali uliona kile uliona hiyo miaka kumi iliyopita haujafika dho kuna chembe chembe dho kuna ishara kidogo kidogo uh, hapa na pale lakini you have not gotten the real thing that will keep you going 
Tupatie scripture kwenye kitabu cha Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. Ni hapo utangulizi. Ni sema kuna uh, uh, seven stages ya kwanza nikasema ni uh, ni conception stage. Ah uh, na pia nikaongea kuhusu preparation. Lakini wacha tusome hii scripture itatusaidia. Biblia inasema hivi. Where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the rule. Tuwekewe version ingine. Version ingine, King James Version. Uh-huh. New King James Version, where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but happy is he who keeps the rule. Another version. King James Version, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the rule, happy is he. I would want us to start our journey this afternoon hapo. Niseme kwamba bila sema mali ya papa kuna maono. People revel- people where there is no revelation, where there is no vision, people will perish. People cast off restraint. Lakini hiyo scripture ishii hapo. Inaendelea inasema kwamba he that keepeth the rule blessed, happy fortunate and enviable is he kumaanisha hivi vision is also a spiritual role na tunachoka kwamba dunia vile tunavyoona siku ya leo imeshikiliwa na the rules of nature there is the rule of gravity eh uh, ndio uh, maana licha kwamba dunia ni muviringo hivi Hakuna kati tuliinama kama Afrika tukaaguka na huko chini kwa space because there is a row that pulls everything towards the earth every time called the row of gravity. Eh una ama nilikuwa nafikia zamani nilikuwa nashindwa kama dunia ni muviringo si si nafaa Afrika ikizunguka hivi tuaguke na huko kwa space. It can never happen. There is a row set in place and it works day after day. The same we've been kwamba inaogea kuhusu vision Alafu anasema he who keepeth that row fortunate happy will be he vision is a law that has to be in place in your life if you are going to be happy if you are going to have the drive to wake up every morning that law must be set into motion na nasema kuna watu wengi ambao hawajaingia kwa ile sheria na one ni kukubaliana kuingia kwa ile sheria na pili kufuata the seven steps ambazo ya kwamba nimeingia ndani ya hii sheria ya maono. Ni lazima nikubali ku conceive maono haya. Ni bebe hii mimba. Ni bebe na, na pia nilipe gharama ya kuzalisha yale maono maana tutafika pale. Na kulezi yale maono mpaka atembe na miguu yake. Yaanze kutimiza kile kitu Mungu alikuwa amenionyesha. Haleluya. So nikasema kwamba asubuhi ya kama there is the 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 the, 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 the initial stage or of, of a vision which is called the conception stage na tukasema kwamba this is a stage which is the seed stage this is when you test nisema kwamba wakati mtu mko amekupatia maono nisema kwamba in this stage god gives you the whole picture the whole picture of what you should do where you should end up unapata maono yale unaona kwamba sio tajabu unafikiria sida kupapasa it is so little lakini shida ni kwamba wakati ukijibinganisha wewe katika na, wakati wa conception na kila mungu anaongea there are worlds apart that's the conception stage wakati wa conception stage ya maono ya, ya mtumishi wa bwana abraham Mungu alimwonyesha kila kitu akamwambia vile atakavyoongezeka vile hata dunia mzima siku moja itakuwa imeunganishwa na, na his, the seed from his loins it would seem impossible akaambiwa toka nje ende uangalie nyota uhesabu ni ngapi kama utaweza ondoka hapa endeta kule kando ya, bah- ya bahari enda uchukue changarawe uanze kuhesabu kama utaweza that is that will be the multitude that will be connected with you and then to so much of the Genesis chapter 11 ya kwamba but Sarah Abraham's wife Sarai Abraham's wife was barren lakini maono yanasema utakuwa mama wa taifa baba wa mataifa lakini the physical she is barren and the husband amepitisha nabii anasema Abraham was 75 years old 
when he relocated from the Isle of the Chaldeans akateremka kwenda Canaan na kusema jambo lingine ya kwamba biblia isemi kwamba god spoke it was not hapo ijaandikwa na present tense ah uh, imeandikwa na, na, na past tense god had told nikasema kwamba the more unakaa kabla hujakubali ku conceive the more you delay the more you delay in your life the more mambo yatajikokota the more utakuta unasumbuka kuna watu wengi na sababu mlango wa kwanza kuingia katika kushika maono ya Mungu ni jambo la kwanza ni kuokoka the more unakaa kule nje kwa dunia the more utazunguka ndio unakuta mtu amekoka akiwa 45 56 years oh yanaanza kusema right nikiokoka nikiwa teenager because your years are so much spent before you conceive what god wanted you to conceive i pray for those who are listening to me today na maybe haujaokoka umekoka sikia msukumo koko sema ah wakati wangu hujafika hata ukikutwa na evangelist eh akuna hubiriwa mtu anakuhubiria kwa matatu anakuta naye anakuhubiria unajua mambo ya kristo yesu ukitaka kuokoka sema yenyewe sijaokoka lakini mimi si mbaya sana no he did a god act way to work unajua kuna watu wasimanga hiyo hadithi ile siku nitaamua nitaamua nitaokoka let me tell you the more unakaa hapo utakaa kama vile abraham utazekea hapo yakoba 75 years ndio ume conceive kwa sababu alipo conceive haikufanyika immediately alipochukua ile miba ilikaa and they finally they got a child wakiwa anaelekea miaka 100 because the other stages had to go through ni lazima angepitia the next stage kuanza kuhusu the preparation stage the incubation the incubation stage of a vision ha? wakati unapitia kwenye training wakati ambapo unapitishwa kwenye training ambayo sio rahisi sana mambo yanakuwa mazito mambo yanakuwa mazito hivyo kama unaona ikana kwamba hakuna jambo litaweza kufanyika the testing season the training season the incubation season na tukasema kwenye kitabu cha zaburi uh, uh, za, 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 za na 5 inayosema kwamba until the word of the lord came to pass the word of the lord tested him but as was few that is Psalms 105 verse 19 when there is the testing of word of the word Psalms 105 and verse 18 the bible says until the time that time his word came the word of the lord tried him yani the, the king sent and loosed him even the rulers of the people and let him go free inaoga kusu joseph tufikisha tu hapo that is the testing yani wakati neno la mungu limeachiwa juu yako na umelipokea there will be a time to be tested hata mungu akaongea kusu na isaidi akasema kwamba kumbukeni vile nilivyo wapitishia kwenye jangwa nikakaa kwa muda nikitesti mioyo yenu nione kilicho ndani ya mioyo yenu there must be that face in your vision you must stand that test of time that test of patience that test of being uh, 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 fervent in prayer consistent in prayer yakomba wewe hau hauobi kuamka asubuhi kwa sababu kuna ishara yote unaamka kusukuma yale maoro kwa sababu unajua Mungu ni mwaminifu the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 those that come to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of they that seek him diligently yani mungu ufike mbali ukwe tested yakomba you, you, you don't move by excitement that is Hebrews 11 verse 6, verse 6. without faith it's impossible to please him but he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him you wake up with the zeal to seek god today because you know god is You know kuna kati mtu anasukuma kwa na mambo na hata mimi nipitie hapo. Naanza kusema Mungu wako gani nyoto la moyo please. Kwani ulisikia maombi ya ya Mungu wewe? Wako kama Mungu yuko kuja ujidhihirishe. Those are prayers in akwambia you have not yet been tested. There are some statements you don't make whether in a normal setting ya kuongea ama katika maombi. Because you can't ask God, kwani Mungu yuko? Huyo Mungu wako wapi si yako? Ni vile tu haujakuwa prepared. Nikasema awamu ya tatu It's one of the most frustrating. It's when there is so much delay. The delay season or the delay stage 
of a vision na hapa ndio wana wa Israeli kwenye kitabu tuwekelewe siku ya hii kwenye kitabu cha Pro, uh, 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 Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 22 Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 22 inasema son of man Ezekiel 12:22 inasema son of man what is this proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth tell them therefore thus says the lord thus is the lord god i will make this proverb cease and there shall be no more, there will be no more use it as a proverb in Israel but say unto them the days are at hand and the effect of every vision 24 for there shall be no more any vain visions no flattering divinations within the house of israel version zingine zinaongea kuhusu there will be no more delay yani iko mpaka ikafika mahali katika wana wa israeli because of the delaying of the vision watu wakafanya kama the more proverb ya kwamba we have waited we have waited nothing seems to be happening because this 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 season it is like the vision it's like it's now dead nikama atakuwa na tumaini na hapa ndio abraham siku moja ametokewa na mungu abraham akajibu akamwambia mungu how can shall it be sini naona hata mwenye tanilidhi it is this man from damascus yani it was, there was so much delay paka rafika mali anaanza kuji paka ameanza kuandika will anasema yenyewe it goes without saying it will be so automatic kwa sababu sina watu na dugu zangu na dugu zangu wako mbali sana na sina mtoto kutoka ndani ya tumbo langu it seems this man from damascus is the one that shall inherit this property na yemungu akamwambia i did not say he will not be the one i said a child from your own loin in this season of delay Abraham amegeuka kwenye mtihani. Akaguka mtihani kwa sababu alifikia kwamba maybe ata atapata mtoto na haga. But that was not the case. There is a time brethren when there be so much delay in your life that you feel like giving up. Nikwambia even that season of delay you are still inside the vision. Na nikasema that's why what wengi wanapotezanga tumaini just when they are almost there shetani anakuhubiria na nakuita auto call na unaitika na unainua mikono na unakubaliana natangaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo hatutakubaliana na any pressure from the other world we will wait on god we will wait on god we will press on we will pursue until that vision hata kama ime delay ikuje kutimia katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana Yesu asifiwe nisema maona kama haya Maybe mtu ambaye hana historia ya this ministry anaweza kuona ministry imechukuka na wengine wengi wamejua hii ministry through this is on a corona church without walls but this is a vision me nilimeshaisikia everything that i have seen today i had it like almost over 20 years ago yenyewe unasikiza hiyo prophecy inatokea kona ile ile ma ka asema bwana siku moja kutakuwa hivi kuta kuta kuna manoli mtafukua television station yenye unasikiza hiyo pro, prophecy okay unaisikiza lakini alafu unajiangalia wote kutoka apostle na wote ambao unajua kuna wale wanakuwa pale mbele yenye unawaangalia unasema okay hiyo ni prophecy <laughs> but we don't look anything close to that you don't look in hata hata hakuna mtu alikuwa anakabiribia hapo bana sasa siwe yani mnamaliza mission na kuna mtu ako anataka shilingi moja kwa mfuko sasa hiyo nguvu zile zimeshuka kwa ule mkutano hujawahi ona watu wamejaza roho mtakatifu wengine wanajaza roho wameshaombewa mtu anajaziwa roho mtakatifu akiera na huko na mwingine akiingia kanisani lakini wakati ule Mungu anasema mambo ya kufungua prayer center anaongea kuhusu vile kutakuwa na kanisa kubwa na kuru sasa hiyo atafosta yuko na kuru ako Nairobi Yaani mbele mambo yalikuwa yanaongewa yakao tofukua na magali ya mission ya mission kutakuwa na televisions stations 
land by the ministry sasa wakati you imagine the amount of money kufungua station ina ina far ku establish a department ya media ah kwenda kwa CCK na mambo mengine he lakini today we are there bana Yesu asifiwe let me tell you i want to declare to you today that vision you have it is still valid hata kama uko katika delaying stage that vision is as true as it was the, the first day you saw it your dream is still valid vile ulivyoona the first time hivyo ndivyo ilivyo nilikuwa nasema asubuhi kuna mambo mambo mko linenea 1998 na yametimia 2020 sasa uniambie kuanzia 1998 Mungu anakunenea siku moja ananiambia pastor siku moja Bwana anasema sasa hiyo kafreshi mmeenda hata kwenye mmeenda fellowship hata kuweza kugatha pesa ya kupika kachai baada ya fellowship hakuna mnakunywa katika strong tea hapo lakini zile za nguvu za Mungu zimeshuka huko at some point malaika wagedhirika literally malaika wanashuka kwa ibada yaani nguvu za Mungu Mungu ananena pasta siku moja utahubiri kwa TV. Sasa mimi nikijiangalia kutoka mguu mpaka kichwa. Kiatu imeisha imepasuka kule chini. So wakati wa kupiga magoti, sasa ile the greatest disaster ingekuwa ni twende kwa nyumba ambayo tutahitaji kutoa viatu. Kwa sababu zile socks umevaa iko na shimo bere na iko na shimo nyuma. So unaivanga, unaivanga na style, unaivuta, unaikuja pale mbele. Sasa ugeda mali kunafaa kutolewa viatu ni unatoa viatu na unatoa socks pamoja. Now that creates another shida. Kwa sababu kwa sababu kule chini naigiza unyevu nyevu eh, unaelewa kile kitafanyika. Ni mnaabudu mkiwa katika roho na mwili, katika roho na kweli. Unatoka katika dunia kwa sababu ile harufu hata inatoka kwa zile viatu. <laughs> Lakini maono yale ni ya ukweli. But as was we today it is happening juzi nimekodi kiangalia i don't know why this caught my attention but ni wakati niliona ikanikumbusha kitu mungu alinenea miaka mingi sana concerning the state of our nation kenya tumekopa mapesa madeni kweli kweli tumekopa madeni tumefuruliza paka ile shindikana kenya tutaipa madeni siku gani how shall we survive sasa serikali imeweka mikakati ya kuchukua uh, ushuru from every corner hata baba boga mtakao kilipa tax tu lakini nakumbuka 1998 mimi siko najoka Mungu ananipata ananipatia hii vision ili ni conceive burden ya kuombea taifa and this was the this the, the vision of the dream I got nikaonyeshwa taifa lote nikaonyeshwa Kenya kuna map ilikuwa inachorwa zamani i think it is there also today uh, kwenye atlasis inaonyesha mahali kuna hapa api hapa kuna mafuta hapa siji kuna madini gani e, kelio valley siji kuna frospa e, magadi kuna chumvi then such a thing in the spirit ya kaleto ajabu kama lile nikaonyeshwa nikaanza kuonyeshwa nikaambiwa hapa kuna mafuta Kenya kuna mafuta mengi sana enough to sustain this nation's economy without going outside this nation to get even a single coin nikaonyeshwa dhahabu nikaonyeshwa fedha nikaonyeshwa madini mengine ambayo hata hayajulikana yako na nikasikia sauti imeniambia so clearly a time is coming when Kenya shall never be sustained by any loan from IMF from where whichever organization monetary hakuna msaada tutatafuta nje now but where we are to where are we today Yaani inasemekana kama mtoto akizaliwa hivi ukimshika hivi ako na deni. Ilikuwa ni hesabu ni pesa gapi? Ni 77,000. Yaani ile mtoto hata yule ambaye hajazaliwa amegawiwa deni. But let me tell you that vision is true. And guess who is going to bring that to come to pass? It is us the church. Because we need to pray through readers that will help us. Ukiangalia ile corruption iko katika taifa letu siku ya leo uh, in the last many years. Una imagine kama saa hii mafuta ama hata yetu umepata saa hii hakuna kitu saa hiyo 1998 hata kuna kuko kumefanywa ile prospective drilling imefanywa juzi i think miaka elfu mbili na kitu na kukapatikana mafuta kule tukana nikwambia hata hapo hakuna kitu mafuta iko maybe hata kwaje kuna mafuta usikibie kuuza shamba kwenu bwana Yesu asifiwe 
Eh usikibie kuuza shaba, utauza shaba afu takuta kumekuja kutafutwa, kumepatikana diamond. Unaanza kujuma vidole. Woi. Nako kashaba tu wenye tulikauza 70,000. Napo ndio kuna dhahabu. There is enough wealth. Okay, niko nasema hivi, sijui kwa nini this week I think it was last week or two weeks ago. Siko na jua kwamba Mungu anipo na nipa yale maono ya kwamba ni ni conceive muziko wa kuombea taifa. Na kutoka siku hiyo mimi kaanza kusikia every time. Mimi na, na nikienda tu kwa mombi nasikia muziki wangu katika kuombea taifa. Nikiangalia ni, mombi anaendelea, you see about it unaangalia uh, maybe kwa news unasikia pia Roho Mtakatifu anakuambia ombea hili jambo. Sasa siku anaelewa kwamba mambo haya Mungu analitayarisha. Yakoba siku moja niwe nikihubiri katika platform maybe kama kule heaven's gate mara ambapo tunaongoza the body in fact those years that is when god started putting in me yakoba wewe wewe si wa, wa, wa kuhudumia watu tu ndani moja wewe ni wa umeitwa katika bed ministry sasa wakati wa unashangaa ti body ministry na siku hizo mambo ya ministry siku ni inaelewa sana i think it was uh, like two three years after kuokoka Unapatiwa mambo mazito ni sema the first stage that is when you see the whole picture unaona kule mwisho lakini ukiangalia kule mwisho ha, it is it is many miles from where you are bana sio siwe now nikakuwa nikionyeshwa ile jambo na nikajua kwamba much as today we have loans from IMF and other institutions to make copper china na kwambia kuna siku inakuja na iko bali sana how what to walipa cash wa china tukao tukiwaambia mnatumia pesa ngapi tunaandika check tunawalipa pesa yao bwana yesu asifiwe a time is coming ukiona tukisukuma katika hii seasons and seasons of prayer that is where we are headed because it is only the church who can be able to align god's purpose in this nation therefore don't give up hope kuna mambo ambayo mungu atakanakuja kufanya ambayo atashangaza dunia yote hallelujah Now, nimesema kuhusu the delay stage. A very frustrating season. It's a near death experience where even you are forgotten. Genesis, Genesis chapter 40 and verse 23. Genesis chapter 40 and verse 23. Bibi na kuhusu Joseph. Na he had a great vision. Alikuwa na kipawa ndani yake ambacho ndicho kigemtegenezea njia ya kuingia katika ukuu na akafanya kuweza uh, 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 ku doto za watu na the Bible says yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph but he forgot him tikataka kusoma uh, tufikisha tu hapo nitaelezea tu watu wawili wamefungwa wakiwa watu kadhaa kwenye jela na mmoja wao akawa ni, ni, ni mwenye kutengeneza divai na mwingine ni mweze kuoka mikate na wakakuwa na ndoto na akatafsiri na Joseph akamwambia please ukitoka unikumbuke the bible says and god and the butler never remembered Joseph alisahaulika in season of delay nobody remembers you but kai wana matige dilikana ma na ligoda mataivirie yani paka unenda mbele za Mungu na bitterness kwa sababu unaona kwa kwamba kuna kuna watu wanafaa kukumbuka in that season even when everybody forgets you you are still on track hey na sema hata watu wakikusahau you are still on track it is a season it is a stage in the vision wakati paka unasahaulika paka unashindwa kwani hata Mungu mwenyewe alinisahau bigwi na nyamaza unashaka hii prophecy ilikuwa inatokea paka tukiwa kwa fellowship kwani sasa hii fellowship ni hiyo ni nini ilienda wapi ndio maana watu hapa katika hii stage ndio watu wanakukaga kwenye mtego wa kukibia kwa diviners anaona hakuna prophecy inatoka anasikia kuna mambo mengine anakaa hapa mlango yenyewe hata ukienda huko unashangaa ai ha hali ona gai kweli yani unaenda hata ile madhali hiyo mnabia nakaa in quotes yenyewe anakuambia kitu inakaa ni kama ukweli lakini sio ukweli ni divination watu wengi wanguki hapa kwa sababu mambo yamekaa yamesterewa sana. But let me tell you, even if there is a delay, finally there will be a fulfillment of the same. Hallelujah. That's just a face. Ama ni awamu tu fulani. Then kutoka hapo. There is the new stage. 
the rejuvenation stage the renew yani mungu mwenyewe kwanza anakunya mazi yanga just when you think like mambo ya maisha mungu mwenyewe anakuja mungu mwenyewe anakutembelea mungu mwenyewe anakuja kukukumbusha anakwambia i'm the lord god of your father abraham isaac and jacob anakuja mara tena Arabo kuja anakuja kufufua wakati uh, tukaenda mtumishi wa bwana Jacob Jacob ameenda amekimbia uh, Jacob aliweza kusikupasiku conceive vision yake uh, pale Bethel that's when he conceived that vision hakuwa hakuwa ameshika maono lakini baada ya muda amekaa miaka mwaka moja, miaka miwili for almost 20 plus years Mungu alikamkujia Akamwambia I'm the God of your father Abraham Isaac I'm the one you met with at Bethel Now come out from these people and go back to your home After 20 long years Ukiangalia kutoka wakati Jacob alitoroka kwao we don't hear an any point ya kwamba alirudi hata Bethel kutoa dhabihu hapana There were 20 years of waiting but there were also 20 years of being transformed Na nani alinatumika ni Father Inro Unajua Father Inro ndio lazima ujue vile utamhadu kwa sababu hapa ujue hata kuna rana Lakini ye yeah, dalitumwa mikono yake dalitumwa kumold aliyekuwa anabia mke wake your father has changed my wages 10 times paka kafika mahali malaika aliyemtokea akamwambia jacob you have passed the test you have lessened the man and with god na umeshinda hey nikwambia mpenda kuna wakati wa kongana na mungu una leso na wanadamu Unashikwa na pressure unasikia kama utapiga mtu makofi ukipiga mtu kofi unarudishwa kimtihani tena unaambiwa umeanguka unarudia tena unaleso na Mungu unaanza kuomba maombi ya deadline Mungu anakuambia umeanguka unarudishwa tena paka ikafika mahali twende kwenye kitabu cha Genesis chapter 32 and 28 Twaza 26 28 26 Yeah that 826 nasema And he said let me go for the day breaketh and he said I will not let thee go except thou bless me He said unto me what is thy name and he said Jacob And he said thy name shall be called no more Jacob but Israel for as a prince Hast thou power with God and men as has prevailed you verse to a kwa na niv version that was 28 the man said your name will no longer be jacob but israel because you have struggled with god and with men and have overcome to the verse 29 and 30 jacob said please tell me your name he replied why do you ask my name then he blessed him there So Jacob called the place Peniel saying it is because I saw God face to face and yet my life was spared blessed be God this afternoon hallelujah Jacob amepitishwa kwenye msimu msimu wa uzito sana those 20 years God was dealing with his heart God was using men kumchonga the wives the father in law But finally Mungu amekuja kwake. Na akafika mahali akasema, "Wa, I have been seen God face to face. I have been preserved." Nikwambia maisha yetu yatahifadhiwa na Mungu. Na tutaona Mungu uso kwa uso. There's a time is coming. After after those 20 long years of waiting, the years of rejuvenation of, of Abraham came wakati the, the, the wife got pregnant i believe the wife 
hata kama ageda kwa mtu kuchota maji kama walikuwa naenda kwa mtu kuchota maji ageda tu hata kama baby e, watu waone paka washaka what what is aya what's this you know the time of rejuvenation ikifika the bible says wakati mungu akikuja kukutembelea you will be like a person that dreams e anaenda tu na kibuyu anaenda kwenye ile welo ya jacob ile welo ikuwa mm. na anatema mate ndio waelewe kile amebeba wewe si msio mzaa ako na mimba let me tell you a season of rejuvenation is coming after the long wait na kwambie kuna mambo yatafanyika tuiso kwa kitabu cha haba kuka subuhi that a time is coming and mungu akamwambia haba kuka i'm doing something in your day even if you could not believe when the rejuvenation season comes things start unfolding that is phase 4 ya maono kukana kuwa na rejuvenation hana anapata mimba wow then to naigia phase 5 the bathing and the celebration stage finally umebeba unazaa mtoto hana ukienda kwenye first samuel chapter 2 you can see that song of hana so excited anasema wewe Mungu hufanya tasa anakuwa mama wa watoto saba amezaa yule mtoto ambaye ataenda katika madhabahu kubadilisha uovu uliokuwa mahali pale she was so excited abraham amezaa mtoto the bible says and god multiplied abraham and he gave him isaac that's the book of of joshua he multiplied abraham he gave him isaac now he has given birth imeanza kudhihika mtoto amezaliwa not from the bond woman but from the from the from the from his own loins and from sarai the wife nikwambie kwamba wakati tunapo tukielewa hizi awamu za za maono na nikwambie kwamba kila mmoja wetu you are somewhere in between wengine ndio unalipa gharama wengine ndio una conceive wengine uko katika preparation stage wengine ndio sahi mungu anaanza kukurejuvenate Yeah, nimeona watu kikomment uh, wakifuata church without walls anaanza kusema mimi kuna mambo Mungu alinenea miaka mingi nimeanza kuona yakichipuka tena nimeanza kusikia the reality nimeanza kusikia ndani yangu hayo mambo hata kama onako ni da mate yanilie nilikuwa nimeachana nayo na nikamsahau he nimeanza kurudia nimeanza kurudia vile yale maono nimerudia hata kwa vitabu na to not nilikuwa naandika ndoto za zamani sana nimeanza kuona haya haya mambo yanakuja kutendeka let me tell you a time is coming and it's now here when every dream when every vision will come to pass in the name of Jesus don't give up hope that's why nisike sike sike kubali na mtu yeyote yule ambaye anakuja kukuonyesha kwamba you have waited for so long Mtumishi wa Bwana Daudi anasema kwamba I waited patiently. I waited patiently unto the Lord until he came. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In this bathing stage there is hope. Hope springs up again. Bones start coming back to life. Ezekiel 37. Hopes yale mifupa ambayo ilikuwa imekufa inaanza kuchipuka tena, inaanza kuwa na uhai. Dry bones Your situation may as, be as dry as the dry bones of the days of Ezekiel. Lakini Mungu anasema, ninajua ya kwamba wakati fulani I'm bringing back to life that delay. Yale mambo yamekosa kufanyika kwa miaka mingi. Mambo bado yanafanyika kama saa hizi. Even in our ministry. Ni mambo ambayo kama tugegemea nguvu zetu, tugegemea ujuzi wetu hayagefanyika. Lakini Mungu ana alikuwa anajua kwamba if we press so that's why the Bible says the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 8 that that eight ya kwamba if we do not give up hope we will receive the reward we will leap tutapokea so the greatest test in one, one of the greatest tests ambazo unapitia utaweza kusimamia diweza kufikia mkonyo maono yako ni kutopoteza tumaini kwa yale mambo Mungu alishakuahidi haijalishi miaka mingapi imepita Haijarishi the passage of time. Ukikubali shetani aanze kukuhubiria na ile miaka uko nayo. Tendenda that seven ile. Sasa nimegonga 42. Nakwambia ukisikiza hizo sauti utaondolewa. 
ni lazima tukatalie kwa Mungu na tuambie Mungu I know this vision it is still as valid and as fresh as the first time I had it Bwana Yesu asifiwe Now maybe to 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 me ongea kusu uh, uh, Bide Samuel that is the bathing the, the bath and the celebration stage then there is the execution stage of a vision that is ya, ya sita the execution stage yale maono yaliyo onyeshwa kule mbele yanaanza sasa kuwa executed mbci tv mbci radio heaven's gate prayer mountain is now the realization it's, it's an execution of what god said na kumbuka kabla corona the first time kulikuwa fanya lockdown shutdown sisi kila kitu kikasimama like one week or two weeks mtumishi mmoja akuja kwa ofisi ya prophetess akaniambia Mungu ameniambia makanisa yatafungwa na makanisa yatafungwa alafu Mungu ataanza kanisa lingine you know kuna mambo mengine they don't make sense at all at makanisa mako higo na ganya kuigura kanidhoge okay nikaandika tu mimi kila prophecy i don't i nikaandika tu Now, three weeks later, corona ikaigia Kenya. After some few days, schools had to be closed, kanisa zifungwe, church without walls ikaanza. Now, hata siko ni understand. Hallelujah. Kuba hili kanisa ndio Mungu anaongea kulihusu. Ya kama makanisa yatafungwa, ataanza kanisa yake. This is nikwambie church without walls is not just another church. This is a revival church. Usiwa, baki nyuma there is something god is building up there is a gathering in of the egos kuna maremnants walikataliwa hata kwenye dini zetu wakakataliwa anasikia kuna kitu kuna vision na mebeba inakatanda hawa watu wako nao hapa lakini wakati church without walls imefunguka ah akasema ni hii hii ndio kitu nisikia mtu mmoja aliniambia juzi tu wakati kimefunguliwa mmekuja kule maombi heaven's gate akana pia mimi ni yashika kisa furani na kuko ndio niliokokea lakini my pastor siku moja akaenda akaenda bible college na aliporudi akaanza kufundisha mafundisho mimi nasikiza nasikia hii mahubiri iko na kasoro na juza kwa mimi ndio niko na shida lakini kwaambia pastor wakati tulifungua makanisa tukaza kutumini kaza kutazama MBCI nikasikiza mahubiri kwa MBCI nikasema ya yeah, hii this is what hii ndio injili yangu hii hii ndio injili yangu nikamuuliza kwa hiyo injili mnahubiriwa injili gani akaniambia hiyo injili tulikuwa tunaambiwa kwamba ukiokoka hakuna ku backslide ya kwamba ukiokoka kutoka hapo dhambi ni weakness wow. lakini mimi nilikuwa nasikiza ndani yangu nasikia hapana unajua kuna mali utajoin utaavya mimba Bwana Yesu asifiwe na atagaza hakuna sahihi vile Mungu amefungua huu mlango haijalishi mtu wako wapi ministry gani hiyo mimba yako haitaavyo katika jina la Yesu Kristo ile mimba utaibeba full term na utazaa maono na makusudi ya Mungu yatadhihirika katika kizazi chetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo haleluya kama nisijamaliza niende kwa the last stage which is the posterity stage where you pass on the baton to the next person to the next generation because hapo ndio tutamalizia niseme kwamba when this stage comes there is a lot of ease in whatever you are doing nikwambia kuna miaka utangangana unajua kuna kati mtu anangangana baka unakuwa inakuwa ni kama part of your life but when the execution after bathing stage and now the execution stage comes there is a lot of ease in whatever you are doing doing Yeah. It is when things just fall in place. Yaani mambo yanakuja yamejipanga. The other time <laughs> kuna kati kulifanya mkutano hapa stadium ya Nakuru na ministry ya Line Line had Bonke ya Christ for All Nations. Eh, so dikwa nakuja kila asubuhi tunafanya morning session and then tunaenda tunarudi jioni kwa crusade kuliagushu wa vyombo pale mnajua nilikuwa nakuwa excited na hizo vyombo zetu uh, lakini vyombo zilimwagika pale nikaona kama hizi zetu ni kama toys seriously yani vyombo zile zilimwagwa pale 
Sikifanya za ABC hizi kama ni kama toys. Sasa the other day apostle amepatiwa mziki wa kunua vyombo za was it 10 million or how much? And you can see because it is the exhibition season of the vision it just happens. Yaani mtu anasikia tu. Kule mlimani have received countless title deeds, countless log books. Yaani mtu anakuja tu anaanga ile kazi Mungu anamwambia hiyo gari wacha hapa imaliza ile kazi. Na hata kuna ku struggle anaenda anipatia gari anavadia pasta hiyo funguo funguo hivi katauti kwa hapa tuna user inafanya kazi ya Mungu let me tell you unaweza kuwa uko mahali pabaya sana kwa siku ya leo hata kulipa nyumba ya 1000 inakushinda but let me tell you that dream is still valid as it was that dream that vision it is true wale walionyesha ukienda kwa mataifa na hata kizungu hujui you don't need you don't need that kuna my sister na ito prophetess Washira mama Washira i think she was here on sunday alito siku moja america so akaenda kwa interview ya ya kule embassy sasa amenga tutaka akakuwa coach kizungu atasema hivi atasema hivi sasa aliuzwa aliuzwa swali ya watu kwa maybe ume coach na bure ukiulizwa hivi ujibu hivi <laughs> Akauliza of how long have you been in ministry? Akira akiwatirire like the message. Unajua hilo lifanya ga little translation. Nie golire then wa ministry. Then he said me ministry old there. Na nakwambia alipata hiyo visa. Baada ya sasa. Dikwambie siku ya leo. Sio kizungu unahitaji ndio wende kwenda kuhubiri. It is just sticking to the vision. Ni unaenda kwenye nchi fulani. Unafika huko unapatiwa hiyo lugha yao, unaongea hiyo lugha. Unaongea yani fervent unaongea so fluently. Ukimaliza inatoka. Unaenda France. Unahubiri ki French. Unaanza na bonjo. Yaani unaongea paka hilo. Neni yekanani. Yaani kutoka hapo mtu anakuja kukusalimia hata salamu hujui. Unaulizwa si wewe ulikuwa unahubiri pale umefubiri full french na hata umetumia vocabulary exact french zile mzito mzito We are getting there in Jesus name Bwana Yesu asifiwe Every vision will come to pass If this vision has come to pass Bwana Yesu asifiwe If this vision has come to pass Ah mi, mi kama kuna kitu kuna encourage huwa anasema kama hii limefika kuja kutimia hata mimi kile kingine chote Mungu ameniahidia kitakuja kutimia yale mambo Mungu amesema kuhusu taifa hili it is a hub of revival it will come to pass vile Mungu alinenea hiyo 1998 because i remember so clearly Mungu akisema kwamba Kenya it will be self sustained by its own resources it is coming to pass mimi si shiriki na ile is the dent to nayo ya IMF na kwingineko tumechukua just watch this space one day you shall prove what i'm saying is true in jesus name bana yesu asifiwe now nimalizia kwa kusema kwamba every vision has a posterity it there must be a passing on of the baton ya vision wakati mtishio bana abraham alipokufa aliachia baton isaac isaac alipokufa akaachia jacob jacob akaachilia aka, vijana wake and today that vision is still alive today we are children of abraham though we were gentiles today we are children of abraham why because every vision the success of every vision you have not succeeded enough if you don't have a successor ile vision uko nayo are you an intercessor there is other intercessors after you are you an instrumentalist wacha kukufa hapa na keyboard kevin Train vijana wengine. Are you a singer? Raise other singers. How to reach hapo? Are you a businessman? Fundish watu wengine biashara. Wacha kujificha ukienda China. Unazima simu na unaweka line nyingine. So watu wanaonaka tu umeleta vitu. Huwezi kubeba kila kitu. Futishika mtu mwingine mkono muonyeshe this how you hata unaenda kwa passport unapata passport hivi unapata visa hivi unampeleka china hata siku moja mnaenda mnazunguka wacha kuwa kij, mtu wa kijicho 
It is so sad. Ya kama unakuta hata a father has a business, has a company that the, the, the wife knows nothing about. The other day I was dealing with a very difficult case. Na nikahurumia huyu na mama sana. The wife, the husband died suddenly of COVID last year. They run a big company, multi-million company, iko na pesa nyingi utajiri mkubwa. Lakini iko na bia pasta. Mimi hata siko nakubaliwa kuingia kwa ofisi. Niko na hivi kwa ofisi, mume wangu anambia hapana, kebesha isichukua hizi pesa, chukua gari, chukua driver, wende kwa hoteli, ende kutafutia marafiki wako. So the company was running like, yeah, baba, the, the husband who happens to be the father, he is the CEO, he is the MD, he is the hotels. Aizo zote. Now suddenly death cuts him short. And he abia pastor, I got to that office. I don't know where to start. Kuna mijengo tuko tunajeka estate mahali fulani. Sijui materials inatoka wapi. Sijui wakas walipo pesa ngapi. Watu wamejua CLA wameanza kunitekia advantage. Wow, I listened to that story I said, "Oh God. If only this man knew that this vision should live beyond him." Niko bila vision uko nayo is supposed to live beyond you. Long after we are gone, MBC will be still be running. Kingdom sika sitakuwa. Church without walls sitakuwa ikiendelea. Bana sasa sifiwe. Ni lazima ujue kwamba that business you are running, usirane single handedly. You must train. You must mentor. And also you must also be mentable. Lazima kwa mtu ambaye unaweza fundishika. Be a student of the word. Be a student. Ukiona ukijoin ministry kama hii, usikajuje tu kujaza viti. Learn the ministry. Allow yourself to be mentored to become a son. Bana Yesu asifiwe. You have not succeeded enough if you don't have a successor. Every vision is not tied to a visioner. A visioner is only used to jump start a, a, a movement. Then and a hard button. Bana Yesu asifiwe. It is so unfortunate. It's like the days of Elisha. Unakuta kwamba Elisha anakufa na mtu ameenda nayo. Mimi nikwambia nimekatalia hapa. Eh ukiniona hapa niko hapa amia to stay in the name of Jesus. Eh kile apostle ako nacho nitashikilia hivi nitatoka na double portion in Jesus name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hadi lazima ukatalia useme mimi sitakuwa tu mshirika kanisani. You must have a vision. Ya kama this vision hata nikiwachoa siku yao itaweza endelea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Every visionary is just a, a jump starter. He is a pioneer. He is a torch bearer. Ukitaka kwenda mbali, start raising men under you. Start raising other intercessors. Na unajua kuna vile ukiwa na mwito fulani, kuna vile mtu mfanyi biashara anaweza pick up mtu mfanyi biashara. Utaona tu hata kanisani tu wanavutanaga tu. Eh unaona kuna vile mna connect. Ukiona mtu huyu ako na ako na kitu kama kile kio ndani yangu anza kumtrain. Mwambie una biashara unafanya ni vizuri lakini let me teach you something else. Hivi umepanga. Unaona hata hivi hii face yako ya duka sio mzuri. Panga hivi paka rangi. Patia jina kampuni uh, yako ya mtumba jina. Mm? Mwangi and Sons Mituba Sales Limited. Bale hata kama una una kampuni na utafute mtu anajua kuandika vizuri itengenezwe tengeneza front face yaani panga hii kazi unakuta watu wanaanza kurealize haya kwani hapa kuna duka siko nimeiona bwana Yesu asifiwe brethren nikitaka kutumalizia siku ile unisemwe kwamba wakati Musa alipokuwa na hudumu he almost fell into this trap ya kutolez men after him wa kumfuata na bibi anasema kwamba Mungu alichukua roho ya Musa akagawia watu 72 so the judgments they were making out there were the judgments that Moses would make ni sema kwamba the church day mentorship must be restored mentorship imekuwa big issue shetani ameweka roho ya kiburi kwa watu mtu akiinuka atakiwa ame ministry akipata gari moja hapo na amejaga nyumba moja hivyo anakuwa 
Habiliki wala hasemezeki tena kwa sababu ameenda mbali sana. But it's the devil's plan to destroy because he knows the success of any vision is in its posterity. Hallelujah. So mentorship, sonship and fatherhood should be the heart of every visioner. Should be the heart of every member of the church. I want to be mentored. Kuna kitu ambacho umebeba ndani yako. Lakini kuna mali huwezi ukaenda kama hautapata mtu akukusaidia kufika pale. Tumesoma vile Joseph alisahaulika. That man may have looked very insignificant. Lakini siku moja the Bible says this man alienda kwa Farao akatubu akamwambia I'm reminded of my transgression. Wakati wo Joseph uh, just, uh, the Farao ameota ndoto ambayo ni ya kutisha ambayo inaongea kuhusu taifa lake. Huyu mtu akakumbuka akasema why I remember. There is this man wakati ambapo ulikuwa umekasirika na sisi. Tukaota ndoto, yu moja ulimsamehe na ni mimi, huyo mwingine vile tu tulivyokuwa tumeota aliweza kuwawa, anaikafanyika. Huyo mtu anaitwa Joseph aka kule wapi? Kwa prison. You need that destiny connector. Mtu ambaye atakusaidia kukuintroduce to the right platform. I thank God for Apostle John Kemani William. Mungu amemtumia kama an introducer into the platform. Alienda kalichukua na huko mashinani. Hata kwa najua kama niko na neno la kiunabii kama siku moja nitakuwa mahali kama hapa. But God by his grace aka to connect, aka ni pick, aka ni introduce. You need somebody to introduce you and that should be your mentor. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. If you lack an introducer in your life, utangangana, uta struggle na vision yako huko na maono yako na kipawa kikubwa mimi na mimi wana wahubiri wa, wa tunaonanga na hata ibaji tunaonanga kwa televisheni they are not the best there are others out there who have lacked someone to just pick them i could introduce the right platform may god connect you with that person in jesus name a man who will connect you kama ni kwa biashara mtu atakushika mikono hiyo vision yako hiyo capacity kubwa uko nayo i could connect to the right link from there you are good to go Nikataka tusimame na miguu yetu tuweze kumalizia ibada ya siku ya leo. I believe hiyo ni topic kama ningekuwa nikubidi kaibudi siku nyingi. Lakini nime nime compress hivyo kwa sababu tumetoka wiki ya mombi last week. Na sikitaka u relax, uweke free gear. There is no time for ya kuweka free gear katika mambo ya kiroho. Hata ukieta na hapa sa Jaguar utaona imeandikwa after every 1 km no free gearing katika hii barabara. Gari inafaa kuwa engaged all through Ukiweka free gear unafata kaka kufanya accident ya kimaisha ya maisha yako. Tusimeme na miguu yetu. Tuseme I'll keep engaged in my heart. I know whatever stage you are in, either uko stage 1, ama uko stage 2, ama uko stage 3, ama uko stage 4, ama uko stage 5, ama uko stage 6, hata wale tuko stage 7 ambao tuna, tunafaa kuwa tuna raise watu engage engage to mentorship, engage fatherhood, engage raising. Hallelujah. If you have a ministry maybe a Sunday school you come na ministry maybe ya, ya, ya married couples uko na ministry ya kibiashara as are those business forums hallelujah we are endowed in different ways mwendulie bwana mikono mwambie siku ya leo ninashikamana na maono yangu tena kile mungu liwekeza ndani yangu i know i'm not born empty there is what you have deposited in my spirit oh wengine kuna mambo ulionyeshwa zamani umejiangalia ukajua mahali huko wengine uko katika ule msimu wa kumgojea mungu when there is so much silence oh for many years nothing has been happening you have been coming to church umetoa dhabihu kila dhabihu unafaa kutoa umetoa you have done everything you think should be done lakini bado kumenyamaza nikwambie you need to keep up the fight you can't go forward to give up huwezi ukaachilia sasa your day of redemption your day of salvation is nearer than the day you first believed in the name of Jesus Christ si ukachiombe siku ya leo mwambie bwana nisaidie nisaidie katika msimu huu kuna kati Mungu umesema na umesema nyakati ni kama hizi wakati ambapo umeanza kusanya tena 
umeanza kukusanya masalia umeanza kuunganisha mioyo watu who are like minded in the things of the spirit you are causing the gathering of egos watu ambao walikuwa nasikia ndio na hudumu kwenye hii ministry lakini kuna mambo yanafanywa hapa sikubaliani nayo ndio lina mimi ni chairman wa development katika hili kanisa lakini yale vile mambo yanafanywa nasikia hivi sivyo inavyofaa ni kuambia hivyo ndivyo ilivyo maono uliyoyaonyeshwa wengine ulionyeshwa ukienda kwa mataifa nataka kukwambia siku ya leo you may not be even close to that hata masomo yako yanakwambia hauwezi lakini nataka kukwambia usiku ya leo ya kwamba ukikubaliana na Mungu utafika pale utatimiza katika china la Yesu Kristo reka maganda riba zaya sheka tamaganda riba sheka yanda rabaganda Bwana wetu na Mungu wetu tumeona maono haya this is a role model of what you can do i saw i heard this was as they were spoken go katika ujana katika jina la Yesu Kristo mambo makubwa yagenenwa ambayo ni maliko makubwa kuliko yoyote alikuwa na yanena it would seem like it was a lie it would seem like it was something that can never happen but today lo and behold we are there we can see the execution of this vision we can see the fruition of it we can see the season of raising of sons oh we may do a hip platform as a mentorship platform ni watu wengi wameandika wakasema mimi nimeelewa yakoba hii ministry inuliwa ikuja kunimenta i thank God for the grace that is in this altar of mentorship kuna watu Mungu anainua kupitia kwa hii platform tusiwache kuambia MBCI tusiwache kusukuma haya maono kwa maombi kwa kufunga kwa sababu Mungu ameinua huu hii platform iweze kusanya kwa pamoja the true church that has no walls ambao hauzusumbuliwi na kombo kwenu wa kanisa hili we ni wa dini hii sisi tunaamini hivi there is something God is doing in our day and we thank God and we bless the Lord for this ministry God is using it as a platform for mentorship as a platform ndio maana kuna wengi hata wataota hata atposto akiwamwagilia mafuta si kwamba inamaanisha kwamba atamwagilia kila mmoja it may not be possible Mungu anakuambia hivi chikamara na haya haya maono this altar will be used as a, as a platform of mentoring many wengine wako Kenya wengine wako mataifa wengine si wa kingdom seekers they may not even ever join kingdom seekers but god is using this platform as a platform of mentorship because this is the face this mystery is in wengine tuko na huduma ndio unaanza ndio umeconceive nikwambie you are still on track haijalishi umepitia vita gani ulionyeshwa ukifanya biashara kubwa ulionyeshwa ukifanya mambo makubwa ukiinua watu wengi na kuambia siku ya leo yakoba that dream it is still valid that vision it is still valid the vision for this nation as a, as a springboard of revival it is still valid the platform Oh God has used uh, will use this nation as a platform to reach other nations uh, as a missionary sending nation it is still true dio maana Mungu anakutayarisha 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 unakosa pesa unasumbuka unaona uchungu kwa sababu angetaka kukutayarisha kwenda mataifa ya mbali kwenda mahali ambapo hata kuwapata chakula ni vigumu oh kujua kuzoea kuishi na watu tofauti Mungu anakutrain ah may you have a teachable spirit don't give up at the edge of your breakthrough don't give up when god is about to come and to rejuvenate you and to raise you again in the name of jesus christ and of the living god to kachiombe wapendwa usinyamaze kokote uliko there is no man that was born empty everyone has a god given vision that is deposited deep in the womb of his spirit there is a vision God has for you. Si ukamwambie Bwana, nisaidie ku conceive maono haya, nisaidie tumbo langu likawe na uwezo wa kushika mimba yako ya, 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 na, na kile makusudio yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Adhuhuri ya leo. Ninateombea mimba za watu those spiritual wombs ya kwamba ende demonic infection ende demonic deposit ilikuwa deposited kwako ya kuzuilia usiweze ku conceive any form of a lie in the form of a false doctrine ulifundishwa mambo ulipitia yakaweka yakaweza kunajisi 
tumbo lako la kiroho natangaza ukaweze kufunguliwa natangaza ukaweze kufunguliwa natangaza ukaweze kufunguliwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo you will conceive you will give birth to God's purposes natangaza utazao pepo oh sijamaze mpendwa rema mama shandaba reka masaya baganda Sheka tamaganda reka mazeka maganda sheka tayari maganda wengine Mungu anatoa idua asanso the ministry Mungu angetaka ushike haya maono there is a passing on of a baton oh Mungu anataka kupokezewe kijiti si ukamwambie bwana wengine ndio maana umekuwa katika training oh uko katika training unakojia kupokezwa kijiti si ukamwambie bwana sitalala sita pumzika i'll give myself no rest i will exercise myself in faith the bible says face kwa exercise iko na faida kidogo itakusaidia kupunguza uzito but spiritual exercise inakusaidia kushika baton ndio maana wengine wetu siku ya leo we at the place of training so that we can receive a baton si ukaombe mungu si ukamwambia mungu sitalala si ukatae usingizi si ukamwambia bwana sita pumzika hadi kwa sababu tumemaliza prayer week last week oh I'll keep on my track. I will always wake up early in the morning. Oh, kila asubuhi Debra hakulala. Alikuwa na vision ilikuwa inamsukuma, akiamka na kuamkia asubuhi na anaenda kwenye kwenye mtende wake, anaenda kuintercede. She would make judgments until the deliverance of Israel from the bondage of the Midianites for 20 years was broken. Oh, siku ya leo kuna watu siku kila asubuhi Mungu anataka uamke, uende mahali pako pa mombezi kila asubuhi uamke uende kwenye mtende wako useme bwana niko hapa nimekuja nina tumaini yakoba kile ulinionyesha nikikomboa waisraeli kitatendeka ah natangaza siku ya leo every dream god you showed me there are things of sin there are things not yet manifested but i believe today more than ever before that these things are coming to pass ulisema papi yako so huyo huduma itatukua na world revival center the biggest in east and west in eastern africa and also in africa so shall it be in the name of jesus christ oh tunakataa kutulia tunakataa kupumzika tunakataa kupumzisha kupumzisha speed tunaondoka kwenye free free gearing mode tunatoka we are engaging in warfare we are engaging in persistent warfare until what you have spoken comes to pass in the name of Jesus wengine uko na maono ya kuambia familia yenu ili kwamba ipate wokovu na Mungu kuna mambo anataka kufanya as much as you want unataka wabadilike Mungu naye pia anataka kukubadilisha mwambie bwana I'll keep engaged oh nakataa kukaa katika free mode if you put on free mode you are preparing yourself for a disaster for a, for a, for a, for, a, for a dangerous accident oh my god si asubuhi ya dhuhuri ya leo toka jiombe tuombe maono yetu tuombe mwito yetu tuombe taifa letu there are great plans god has for this nation there are great plans god has for this nation tusikome kuombea taifa letu mtumishi wa bwana samuel alisema sitawacha kuomba i don't want to sin against god by not interceding siku moja wana iseri wakakuja kumwambia woi samuel usiwache kutuombea usiwache kutuita siku itasidi kwa nabi hawa nasi kama kanisa la kenya oh ni lazima tukatalie mahali pa maombezi tuseme kila ulivyosema hivyo itakuja kutimia that is what god has planned even for the nation the nation this nation's future is greater than what we think it is greater than our wildest dreams kuna mambo yanakuja kufanyika kwenye taifa hili watu watakuja kufanya kutupelelezi watakuja kufanya hata tualism ya kuona mambo yale yametendeka because suddenly there will be a shift there will be a turn of events na watu walio kusema kwamba taifa hili litachotwa na mataifa ya nje it is a lie it will never come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ i decree from this altar that this nation shall self sustain there is enough there is enough wealth there are enough natural resources there is enough gas there is enough oil there are many minerals and other resources that god will raise in the name of jesus tunasukuma chenda taifa hili kwenye maombi hatutanyamaza hatutatulia maana mambo haya ni lazima yafanyike ninapoalika kikoni cha president worship team ombi langu ni siku ya leo
kuna watu wengi wame, wamekuwa kiniambia wakiniandikia SMS wengine wanaandika kwa platform ya tu ya kwamba wamekuwa makiona apostle akiwa anoint akiwaombea usiku is because God is raising this platform as a mentorship platform na wewe ukiwa pale nje ukinisikiza Mungu anataka uwe kule katika ile mode ya kupokezwa kijiti because a mentor passes the baton lakini yule ambaye analetewa hakuigi amekaa chini anakuanga hivi anakuanga hivi be on standby mode to receive in the name of Jesus Christ siku maanisha kwamba kwa sababu ya unyesho wa apostle kikuwa noiti usiku na mmoja aliniambia jana i literally felt the oil trickling kwa uso wangu hivi usiweze kusita ukisumbuka atikuja na kurup apostle ni aboni anoint apana it is about mentorship god wants you to become a son you may be here you may be in the nations of the world far away mali wezi kuja hapa but let me tell you you just need to brace yourself to receive it in jesus name wale aboni wa mbc kingdom seekers let us continue praying for this vision it is bigger than what we think kile tumeona hata sio fraction there are greater things that are yet to happen in jesus name Eme today katika maombezi tu hapo alika present worship team watusaidie kuendelea katika uwepo wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. God bless you. Meditate upon that word. There is life in it in Jesus name. Through it all. Through it all. Trust in Jesus have learned to trust in God through it all through it all have learned to depend upon his word through it all
Talk to me. 